Energy, the ever-present feature of the 20th and 21st century. It keeps us warm, moves us around, cooks our food, and a variety of other things. Here in Minnesota, homes use on average around 200 million BTUs each year. Rising cost of energy and threats of global climate change has created a demand for changing the supply of energy and reducing its consumption. Energy efficiency seems to be one of the solutions, but what exactly is it? Energy efficiency is using less energy to provide the same service. The key to finding out how to reduce energy consumption is to understand how energy is used. Buildings make up a very large percentage of the energy we use. Nearly 40% of the total U.S. energy consumption in 2012 was consumed in residential and commercial buildings, so that's a very large number, nearly half. More than half of the energy used by homes in Minnesota goes to space heating and cooling. The next largest users are major appliances and water heating, which both represent 15% of total consumption. Lighting represents the next category, where 10% of the total energy is used, and the remaining 5% is used to power home electronics. Based on this breakdown, energy efficient improvements can have the most significant impact in areas of highest use. Since heating and cooling are such a large part of our energy use, this is a great place to focus our attention. As heating is the biggest cost and the biggest energy consumer in our, uh, in our location. According to the EPA, air sealing and insulating a house can reduce heating and cooling costs by up to 20%. I think the fact that if you have a more insulated house, if your power goes off for a day or two, you're not going to have the same issues of getting really cold. The first step should include sealing air leaks through the attic, walls, and foundation. These leaks can add up to one-third of a home's heat loss. Insulation should be added to the attic and blown into the walls. HVAC equipment, heating, ventilation, and air conditioning equipment has historically been cost-effective. By choosing a high-efficiency furnace, an average household could save an extra $150 every year. CFL and LED lights use only one quarter the electricity compared to traditional incandescent bulbs, and they can last 10 to 25 years longer. Replacing 15 bulbs will save a household about $50 each year on its electricity bill. One of the things that we've done is change out the uh, light fixtures that we use, um, the fixtures that we're using for the more recent renovations in the building, use half of the electricity that our old light fixtures use. All these changes can be very expensive for homes to make. One of the main ways these changes can be accomplished is through governmental programs. Many states in the U.S. implement programs such as the Conservation Improvement Plan here in Minnesota. A lot of uh, programs are, are simple rebate um, programs for um, fairly low-cost items like uh, compact fluorescent lights or LED lights, uh, low-flow shower heads, faucet aerators. The big one for the businesses has been the lighting rebate. Um, clearly, you go into a store and it's just lined with the fluorescent lights, and it's easier for them to change out. It's, it's the probably one of the lower-cost ones, and it's the biggest bang for the buck as far as return time that the um, money that you spent is paid back to you. For residential, we have, you know, we can offer CFL light bulbs, LED light bulbs. We can offer um, lighting uh, change out. Some people have um, fluorescent lighting in their garages that they change out. Um, we have AC tune-ups. We have um, home audits for their power um, and appliance change outs too, all the Energy Star appliances that we can offer. What can consumers gain from programs like these? If we reduce the energy cost, um, it saves us money for operating buildings and as budgets get tighter and tighter, that's an important factor. For energy conservation measures installed in 2010 and 2011, we estimate um, $2.6 billion in savings over the lifetime of those measures and that's net of um, the cost to actually uh, run the programs. Um, so it's, it's a pretty um, 
impressive savings level. There will be a real estate market for energy efficient houses. As more people become aware of their usage, and I think the utilities are working on that with smart meters. Um, there's a lot of data. I think smart thermostats are another direction people are going to become more aware of, of how much they're using and how they're using it. I think that will help drive participation.